Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you in this video a few of the lipsticks I use on my aging lips and some of the lip treatments that I have been doing on my aging lips. This video is actually requested because oftentimes when I'm doing either an Instagram story or just a video in general, I'll have questions that'll be, what lipstick are you wearing? What lipstick are you wearing? And I often say, gosh, you know, I really don't know what lipstick I'm wearing. So I thought I would share with you some of my favorite lipsticks and some of the treatments that I do for my lips. So I do have to just say in advance that I have been feeling a little bit under the weather this week. I have a cold sore on my lips, so I'm not going to come up close to show you my lips, I'm sorry. And I'm also, this is the first video that I've done with my, sort of my new backgrounds. I really like how my bookshelf came out with the placement of a few of the different items that I picked up to have back there. So I hope you guys like it too. I think it's pretty. I still have some of my dolls out and I have some candles and then some, you know, just some little glitter things, glittery things. So anyways, on to lips. I like many other women, am always on a hunt, at least I think like many other women, of my age group because my lips are a lot thinner today than when I was a lot younger. So I am like, I think the majority of people out there like looking for a treatment that is truly going to plump up my lips. So in that avenue, I have spent a little bit of money trying to find a product that might work. Starting with probably the most expensive product that I bought was the Eshio, E-S-H-O, sculpting treatment. This was from the Desium company. This was highly touted. A lot of people talked about this, how great of a treatment it was. And to be very honest with you, I actually liked when I used this and I did see a plumping effect slightly, but it was never anything that lasted. So I think with this, it was more of an accumulative effect the more you used it every single day, maybe the better the product would work ultimately. But it was pricey for this little tube. I think it was at the time that I bought it, it was like 40 some odd dollars for this little tube and to use it twice a day. Sure. Anyways, I made the decision that the results I saw the first few months I used it really was not as dramatic as I had hoped. So I did not rebuy it. I did not continue to use it. This was not something that was sent to me for review. This is something I bought myself because a lot of people talked about it and I said, yes, I gotta try it. I gotta see if it'll help my lips. It didn't. So on that note, two lip balms that I use pretty well every single night of the week one was actually sent to me for review from the Octoly Network from Mamond. And this is a lip sleeping mask and it is Flower Plum Blossom. I really enjoy this product. This is by my bedside along with two others now. But for the longest time, this would share space with a lip balm, lip mask that I bought that I really liked. It's a ginger sugar overnight mask. I believe this is a Korean company. So both of these lip balms would sit on my nightstand and I would apply this before I went to bed. Either one of these. Didn't matter which. I love them both. I would buy both of these again for sure. And then recently sent to me was the Emile Cordon. So I'm not even going to really talk about that. But I've been using this as a lip balm treatment. I love, I love, I love how how soft my lips feel when I use this. So these are the three treatments that I'm doing for my lips that I like. The other thing that I'm liking, and I believe I got this in a boxy charm. This is from Pure, P-U-R, Plumping Lip Exfoliator. It's, I, it's like a gritty little, and you can feel that when you put it on and you maneuver your lips and you go like that, you can actually see the buildup or the the dry skin if you have some on your lips come loose. So sometimes during the day, I'll touch up with this, put it together, let it scrub my lips a little bit, and then I'll reapply whatever lipstick I'm wearing. 
I'm really enjoying this. I can't even tell you how much it is, but it is from P-U-R, Pure, and I did get it in a boxy charm, so I really like that. Now for my lipsticks, and I'm like, oh, you know, oh, I should probably talk about lip liners first. I am very much a creature of habit. The lip liners that I've used, I've used for a long time. I do like the Rimmel and the Rimmel Exaggerate and the color that I use is East End Snob 063. So Rimmel Exaggerate, East End Snob. The problem with this is this is a very soft liner. And if you extend it too far, or even if you don't extend it far, this liner breaks off very, very easy. I don't know if that is even going to pick it up. I like it. You cannot beat the price. It is very, very affordable. And I mean, as Rimmel, you can get in any drugstore really out there. The other one that I wear an awful lot, I wear this more than any other lip liner. I love the consistency. This is a, a glimmer stick from Avon. When they go on sale, I stock up. I stock up on my eyebrow liner and my lip liner. This is Perfect Plum. It is a really, it's a harder consistency. Is that picking up at all? I can't tell. But it's a harder consistency than the Rimmel liner. I really like it a lot to the point where, like I said, when the glimmer sticks go on sale, I buy backups. And I, I have tried the Laura Geller. I think this might have been a boxy charm as well. This is a waterproof lip liner from Laura, Laura Geller. I, to be honest with you, it's okay, but I like my Avon better. I really do. I like my Avon better. The color of this is Spice. And it's a waterproof lip liner, Pout Perfection from Laura Geller. I'm pretty sure this was a boxy charm product. It's okay, it's okay. But I'll stick to my Avon because I prefer my Avon over that. The other lipstick that I have a lot, that's a, and this is a Rimmel lipstick. I really like this a lot. This is the perfect nude shade for me. It's number 45. I can't remember the name of it and it has worn out. I mean, but this is a really, to me, a very, nice nice nude color I really like this nude color so oftentimes I will put this on my lips on top of whatever other lipstick I'm wearing I am a color mixer I mix my colors up that's just how I've always been so let me just show you some of my favorite colors that I have so you can see so L'Oreal 560 Spice Mauve I wear this one a lot. This is probably well worn. I wear this a lot. I'll put this on after I do my lip liner, my plum lip liner from Avon. I'll put this on my lips. I will then usually top it off with my Rimmel number 45. Or I will use this one, Sugar Plum Rimmel. Very close, very similar. Sugar Plum is the bottom shade. I'm feeling kind of a little awkward sitting here talking about these lipsticks because I don't think any of these are going to show and I'm not like a, a major lipstick person. But the other per, the other lipstick I wear is this is called Mica, M-I-C-A, 620. And I'll put that on here. I would say that probably Mica, the bottom one here, is just a really pretty, to me it's a really pretty shade. I don't know if you can see it. But those are, the, those are the lipsticks that I really, really like. I, those are three. They're from L'Oreal. I also have lipsticks that I really like, and they're from Revlon and Maybelline. So the first one, and I've worn this one an awful lot. A lot of times when you guys ask me questions, this is a little bit of a darker shade. And you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of like topping all of these different colors <laughs> on my face. But this one is on the Maw 445. I've had that forever. I really like it. A newer color for me is 770 Mauvet, which is a really bolder, dark color. I kind of missed my lips. <laughs> oh, well. I am a real person. So this is a bolder color. Oh, I forgot to put them on my hands, didn't I? But just so you can see. I don't know if you can see how dark that color is. It really is. For me, alone, it's a very, very dark color. But I really do like it a lot. And then I have 
This one is called Lust for Blush. This is really a lighter color, even though it looks darker. More of a rosy, more of a pink color. Yeah, I was talking to a couple of a couple of my friends, my uh, fellow content creators. We were talking, we were comparing, and we we're just talking about how different lipstick looks on each of us. So all of these colors that I'm showing you, and yes, most of these are drugstore that I've shown you so far. All of these work fine for me, but they may not work fine for you. So every time you ask me what color it is, understand that I'm doing layers. Like I might just add another layer to this and then I might decide, geez, I want to lighten it up a little and I would do my, my nude. So more often than not, after I've done whatever layers of lip colors I want, I will top it off with a gloss. Um, I've had Lancome send me some glosses and I absolutely love them. They feel really good. I have the Lancome Juicy Tubes that was sent to me and I did a review on those. I have several different colors. These are my summer things. So if I'm just gonna wear a gloss on my own, these Juicy Tubes in the summer, oh my gosh, I love them. So those were sent to me for review via, via Octoly, via Lancome. But my favorite gloss, and this is sort of a higher end for me, my favorite glosses are my Buxom glosses. I absolutely love Buxom glosses. And I have a couple and I'm getting low on them. Almost any shade in a Buxom gloss will do it for me. I just love White Russian. I just love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. I love my Buxom glosses. So I always have a gloss on top. But I've also been using and have discovered over the course of this last year or actually a little bit longer, hard candy glosses. I have often said that I'll take anything hard candy. I'll go in the store. I have four of them right here and I have a couple in the office because I keep a little makeup stash in the office. So I have a couple in the office as well. But the hard candy, they're plumping serums and I have them in many different light colors. They're just as nice to me as the Buxom, but they are a fraction of the cost. So if you, I have tried the Rimmel gloss. I have tried other glosses. I have, um, and I didn't keep them. I didn't like them. Uh, Revlon had a gloss that I bought. I bought one from L'Oreal. I've tried other drugstore glosses. And the hot candy, to me, beats the Rimmel, beats any of the other gloss, lip glosses that I've used that are drugstore level. It rivals my Buxom. It rivals my Buxom. So if I'm going to spend the money and I want to spend 20 or whatever dollars for a lip gloss, Buxom for me over my Lancome for sure. But more often than not, I'm just going to go to Target or Walmart and I'm going to wherever you can get your hard candy and I'm going to get a hard candy gloss because they feel just as nice. They look this one is obviously lighter. They look just as nice. I feel like a little, this is kind of like a funky little video because talking about glosses and stuff like that and lip, lipsticks, I wish I could say to you, I have all these beautiful high-end lip products and I love them and I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. I just go in the store and I kind of look at the colors and I say, will this work for me? And sometimes it's been a total bust. So when you go and you buy a, a lipstick in the store, usually, anyways, Walmart or whatever, I don't, I won't bring it back if I've used it. But I'll put it on and I'm going, no, I don't like this color. It's just way too dark. I, just like my eyeshadow, I would like a lighter color that gets darker the more I apply it than to have a dark color and I have to try to take some of it off. Although with lipstick, it's pretty easy for me to go over it, a lighter lipstick, and make it look halfway decent so that it kind of works on my lips. Anyways. That's what I wanted to share with you. I hope this video isn't super long. It's probably super boring. I'm going to link all the lipsticks that I talked about below. Bear in mind that I have, I have pale skin. My lips are old lips. They're going to be 65 pretty soon, my lips. And, um, you know, so everyone's lips are different. Everyone's skin is different. I know I've said that over and over and over again. But there are some products that I definitely love 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 i love my sleeping masks and the emile cordon feels really wonderful but i just started using it so you know how is how does this compare to these uh, it's too soon for me really to know other than i know this feels divine absolutely divine but then so do these so 
those are some of my products those are some of the things that I use and you know this is a requested video so hopefully I didn't bore you too much I should show you these colors oh I'm just really not good with swatches I even forgot to put my wedding ring on today I'm just really not good today Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would truly appreciate that. Please leave me a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a comment and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful life. Bye guys.